guys, and welcome to a clone to a Five Commander film. And today, yes, I got a tank set up, and I am going to tell you guys why I'm doing this. This is actually getting me ready for a bearded dragon. I this is a 40 gallon tank, and I am going to explain everything in it and how it works. So, first of all, let's start with the small stuff. So this is like an old beta tank that we found in our crawl space. I, I am going to be feeding it crickets and phoenix worms. So this is where I'm putting all the phoenix worms. We're going to get a big shipment of them. So, yeah. So I'm going to put this on here because I'm actually going to open the tank. So these, we got some tweezers. Didn't open them yet. So these are feeding tongs. They're, if you see right here, you grab like a cricket or a worm. You grab it and, you, and the reptile will eat it. So... It's a very nice little thing. And of course we need a sprayer. You're, so this is a life lesson. You should not spray the tank. You should always spray the bearded dragon. Bearded dragons do not like their tank wet. They like it all warm. So they can digest their food. Alright, so as you see we have, I think, here, hold on, wait a minute, wait, wait. So let's see. Alright, so this one is the basking light. So as you see, we have yep the lamp. So this is the this is the let off the heat. This one it doesn't let off heat at all, but yeah, it just gives light. I don't really know much about those, so I'll talk about them once I know more about them. Well, let's get the cord out. So get those. Okay. So here. Let's take this out. This is just a sheet. So, here, because we're going to keep a big tank of crickets, or I should say a bin, just to feed it. So we have to feed them. This is cricket diet. This is cricket food. So we have to feed them this. So, like, just to keep them alive so your giant will eat them. Here we have a 10 gallon tank that we are going to be using for feeding. So we, like, grab the beer dragon out of the 40 gallon tank and we put it in here and we let him eat in this tank. So, it's just an easier way because if the crickets, because they could hide under this carpet, as you see right there. Yeah, they could hide under there and that's a problem. Alright, so let's get this 10 gallon tank, just so we can show you the insides of the tank. Ooh, thing's heavy. Okay, so here up here we got, on top of it, it's locked, and there's a little... Like catch, and you can reach in to grab your beer dragon. Yeah, she's doing her house good thing. Okay, so so there. Now let's show you the inside of the entire thing. Alrighty, so I put the tap cap of that down. Whoa. Okay, so right here we have the th temperature thermometer. So this tells us what temperature the tank will be. If you use, it's actually really good if you're using. Here we have like a like a log. It's not really a log. Um. Okay, yeah, type of log. Uh, here we have like a basking rock, so they can go under there once they're babies, and they can just nice and chill on top of it. Humidity too. Yeah. So right here. Hmm. There's red stuff. That's for humidity too. Yeah, humidity. Thank you for that. Here we have like the log. All reptiles like these logs. This one is a huge one. As you see. So as you see, they can hide under there. This, so this is technically a video of everything you need to keep a bearded dragon. So right here, this is where I'm, this is the tank I'm actually going to feed the worms. So this is right here. We have the worm bowl. Now this, crickets are actually a better thing to feed in like a 10 gallon tank. Just, just so they don't like run. Because they could die in here and it'll smell the tank up. Alright, so next up we have, of course, their water bowl. You need water bowls for all living things. And we have their salad bowl. Yes, you gotta feed them salad. I'm gonna feed it 
just lettuce, carrots, maybe some squash, stuff like that. And you have to put the calcium on it. All right. And, yeah, so, I don't even know what that red stuff is about. <laughs> okay, so, that's pretty much it of how you keep a beard dragon. I am going to be doing another video when we get the beard dragon. And I will be doing, because I'm going to be going to Texas tomorrow for our vacation, for spring break. So, I will be showing videos of those, like clips. So, yeah, you get to come on my adventure. So, yep. After my vacation, I will get the Bear Dragon. I will do a video on that when I go get him. And then I'm going to do another video on how he's doing. So, let's patch up the tank. And, yeah, so that's actually it of how you keep Bearded Dragon. Hopefully this video influenced you to go buy yourself a nice Bearded Dragon. Because Bearded Dragons, I've heard, are very, very nice pets. Oh my gosh, this will not close. Oh, my, my God. Okay, there we go. So, yeah, so that's technically it. I keep a bearded dragon in captivity. And this and just to remind you, you need a 40 gallon tank for one. And then if you want more, it's gonna be quite a bit. So yeah, so guys that ends this video, awesome video. Please press the like button down below and subscribe. See you guys later.